Your Excellency, President Helen Johnson Salih, the President of Liberia, and the Chairperson of ECOWAS, and the Chairperson of this occasion. I would like to rest and rely on the protocol that has been ably established by Professor Kebukola, the director of Center for Human Security of Olusha Gmobasanjo Presidential Library. <clears throat> and co-chair of the organizing committee of the event of today. Except that a few people have been left out. And those that have been left out, that I remember, I will try and mention their name. Yes, he has mentioned the chairman and uh, the co-chair of the Ulushek Mobasan Job Presidential Library. But I believe it's important that I should also recognize the other members of that body, which had worked tirelessly to get us to where we are today. And I will start in no particular order. Chief Femi Alopade, as I mentioned your name, Please stand so that you can be recognized. <laughs> Chief Abudu. <laughs> Ahmed Joda. <laughs> Dr. Shuleye. Joy Ugu. <laughs> Nike Akande. <laughs> Mbayo Ojo. <laughs> General Aguay. <laughs> Have I left out anybody? Oh, yes, Peter. You are a member of the board. And Professor Akima Bogunje. Let me begin with apologies. One of the things that I learned very early in my life, particularly in the military, is that no matter how much you practice and you rehearse, on the day that you are going to get things done, something will go wrong. We have rehearsed and practiced how we will move from A to B, but what we did not take into consideration is the crowd that will come with, that we did not really anticipate. So if things have gone wrong, and I want to personally apologize to President Boyoya, when I was trying to push people back, I pushed him back with a bit of 
apologize once again, President Puglia. <laughs> hey, I even forgot. Oh, now you have been recognized. No, no. No, I say coach. Remember, you are not. Now, I must recognize the presence of Chief Emeka Anyoko, the former. <clears throat> The former Secretary General of the Commonwealth. But not only have he and I worked together and all that and done a lot of things together, he is my in law and he hasn't finished paying the dowry. Kavisi, Alafi, you are welcome. In the name of God Almighty, who makes seemingly impossible possible, and on behalf of our distinguished board of trustees that I've named, our management team, you will see them later. The main contractor who won the bid for the construction of the library building, Mrs. Gito Construzioni. Our many subcontractors and suppliers, our consultant, Ralph Alpabom and Associates, RAA, and the fabricating company, APD of Spain, I welcome you to this presidential library complex, the first of its kind in Africa. We very much appreciate your being here to honor us and to celebrate with us. This library is the culmination and fulfillment of dreams and vision which began in 1988, when I came to realize how much vital materials that should have been preserved from the Civil War and from our period of military government were allowed to waste carelessly. Then I tried to see what could be salvaged, recovered, and preserved, but not much, except some materials on the civil service on the civil war from both sides of the divide which I was able to microfilm. Materials were lost but lessons were learned. God of second chance provided second opportunity and the lessons learned were put into practice. In spite of the lessons learned we did not know for sure how our dreams will come true and how our vision will be realized. However, we embarked on a journey, the end of which we were not too clear how it will turn out. 